So I got some bad news. I got an email from YouTube. My channel is being demonetized. I will no longer be a YouTube partner and I will no longer be making ad revenue from uh, Google AdWords, which kind of sucks. Um, YouTube is doing this to everybody. Basically, if you don't have 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 YouTube subscribers, you have to meet both those criteria, um, you will be demonetized. Um, I think it's kind of unfair, it's kind of harsh, and it discourages like regular people like me from trying to do things on YouTube. Am I valuable to YouTube? And it seems like YouTube is saying that I'm not. I'm, I published my first video in 2008. So I've been doing this for 10 years. And I've only got uh, 431 subscribers to my name. So I'm 569 short of the goal of 1,000 subscribers. And um, in the past year, I've only had 2,784 hours of watched content. So... I'm 1,216 hours shy of that goal. Um, but over the lifetime of my channel, I've gotten 354,709 views, which I'm very thankful for every one of those views. And through Google AdWords, I've gotten paid a little over $500 through the lifetime of my channel. So that's been enough to buy a new camera and some, you know, meals and things like that whatever you want to attribute that money to i i never really started this to get rich i just kind of like being able to be out there and say things i want to say i like to have a voice on the internet and um it's nice to communicate with people and and be a part of the youtube community but it seems like youtube is discouraging that now i'm not going to quit there's no way I'm going to quit because one one thing about it is is like I said I am close enough to my goals to be able to be remonetized. Does it really matter to me if it is a success? If I'm using this as a creative outlet, then I should just not worry about the monetization and just do my thing, you know? This is kind of why I got into YouTube in the first place because I got into it before I knew people were getting rich off YouTube. I just wanted to do it. I originally just wanted to talk about video games and stuff, and then I started doing the family vlogs because it's fun for me. And I like that my kids are, are learning skills from it, being able to talk in front of a camera, building that self-confidence up. That's, that's definitely good stuff. So um, there's no reason for me to quit my YouTube channel I am going to try to um, keep building. I'm going to do more videos in 2018 than, than I ever have. Um, and maybe I'll get back to that YouTube partnership at some point, which will be cool. But it's not cool on YouTube's part to what they're doing to people. Um, so that's all I got to say about that. Okay, so one thing I think about this is, yes, it's going to discourage a lot of people. It's bad. You're going to lose out on um, a lot of the help that people seem to give each other on YouTube. You can do a lot of things to better yourself by watching YouTube videos, learn about diet things, health things. People have a lot of good information out there to share, and there's going to be less people sharing that stuff now. On the other hand, if there's less people that are pursuing this stuff, there's room for people who, like me who plan to stay dedicated to grow and get better and stuff like that. You're still going to see a lot more of me on YouTube. I'm, a, I'm annoyed with YouTube, but I think the positives outweigh the negatives, and I'm here to stay. So thank you for watching, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.